Okay, good morning and welcome to Yenah Mishnah. I want to discuss the last Mishnah in Paraches, Mishnah Yud Beis. Uh, it's a very important Mishnah. It has nothing to do with Mishnah's, uh Truma. Uh, it's related to the previous Mishnah, a similar case. But this is talking about Yari Val Yavor. Uh, famous, you know, we know from the Gemara, the Gemara says you're not supposed to give your life, right? If someone threatens you, a guy threatens you to kill you, and it says you have to do an Avera, you do the Avera, Yari. You do that, Veira, don't be killed. However, if it's the Shalosh Chamuros, right, if he tells you to kill somebody, or he says, uh, or Arayus, right? So, and one of the Gila Arayus is being with a non Jew, uh, presumably with Gila Arayus also. Uh, I look at Mestach Ksuvos and Gila and Bez, where they discuss that more, but technically, we're assuming it is Gila Arayus, so you have to give up your life. You have to be Moser Nefesh over here. So the case is that they have 10 women over here, and the guy says, you know what, I'll make you a deal. You give me one of the women, and I'll violate her. Uh, and if you don't give me one, then I'll violate all 10 of you. So you would think, right, it's better one than 10. You don't want 10 women to be violated. The halacha is nonetheless, you can't offer one of them. You have to remain silent, do nothing. Uh, and all 10 of them will be violated. What's the basis of this halacha? So I've seen that um, the the Chavetz Chaim extends this to Chazal Hara, and I think other posts extend this to, to to killing people also. For example, he said, either you give me one person, and I'll kill him, or if you don't give me one person, I'll kill all ten of you. And they make a parallel. And they say the same halacha applies over here. I want to say it's not true. It's Dafka in this case, which the Mishnah talks about, where we're talking about a woman being violated and Yarg Valley over because the Gemara says Sanhedrin. If a woman doesn't do anything, a man who just walks over to her and violates her, she's called Karka Olam, the Gemara Sanhedrin. So she's not doing anything. As opposed to a man, even if someone, a woman is somehow ma'anis, a man, she forces a man to be with her, the Gemara says, Ain kisha el a man is always baratza. But a woman, it could be ba'onis, and he doesn't ba'onis, that's not Yari Val Yover. It's only Yari Val Yover by an Isha, according to an opinion in Sanhedrin and Tosfos, that it's only Yari Val Yover if she's participating. If she's not participating, so by, by them giving a woman over to the man, even though she's not being given herself, but they're giving her over to them. She's going actively to him. She's participating. You can't call a karka olam, and therefore it invokes the din of yarik val yavar. Rather, ten of them be killed, then one of them should be over on Gilei Arias. Right? If they all do nothing, so there's ten karka olams, so it's okay. They're not doing anything wrong. But for them to give one of them, that's yarik val yavar for one of them. When it comes to to, if they say I want to kill you, kill one of us or kill the other ten, it makes sense. Give give one person and the other ten because, uh, or they tell ten people they say uh, either you kill someone or um, or or be killed. Uh, you kill someone or be killed. So by Shiva's dumb over there, um, all of them are doing. It's better that that one person should die as opposed to ten people should die. But here there's a difference if. When it comes to Arayos, the person being given over as opposed to uh, the people who don't do anything, 10 women who don't do anything, is Karka Olam, and that's why the reason is Mutter. It's only by Arayos. You can't apply this to Hilchos Hashanah and to Hilchos Shrikas Dhamim and other halakhas like that because it's Zabka Halakha of Karka Olam over here by Arayos. That's my, my opinion over here. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.